Hey, so just wanted to give a bit of a devlog update again today. Yeah, this week was pretty unproductive in terms of game development. I actually didn't get much done, but I do have what is necessary for this week complete. So I've actually finished it before and I'm going to take my old code and just sneak it into the uh, sneak it into the repo because this week was just a busy week for me. And I find as I'm going on with this, it gets harder and harder to kind of keep track of what I'm doing and keep up. But um, I'm definitely going to keep pushing through. So this week we have the visibility system. I'll throw in some clips and you can see that as we walk through the map, we um, we have a fog of war and it unveils itself and then creates another a fog of war as we disappear into the into the map now we've given the ai a system of visibility as well so if they don't see us they won't chase us but if we get close to them they'll start chasing us but we can lose them uh, pretty easily we can also attack and be killed by the ai now when we get killed nothing happens just yet but uh, we are able to attack them and they have health points and we have you know power and our attack and everything and so yeah it actually it's a game now so you can play this and it's maybe not so much fun but it's it's a functioning game with uh, enemies and and you know the player so the next step after this will be probably to introduce some items to the game maybe some power-ups and uh, start to develop out the gameplay so it becomes more of a game so yeah we've introduced also an ai system it's pretty basic it uses the um, a star search algorithm to try track the player when it sees the player so if the player is in their view, it will calculate the distance between it and the player and the best path to take to get to the player. It's pretty basic. Basic. If you move around, you can see it tries to like use the, the optimal path, which I mean, it's good for now. But in the future, I think I'll try and make it a little bit less optimal because it just perfectly chases you each time, which is a bit predictable. It's getting exciting now. It's actually working. And the next few steps, it's going to get a little bit more complicated as we have items and we have to add item positioning and tracking. And then, you know, you have power ups, power downs. And I mean, the bulk of the hard stuff, like the bulk foundation is there now. But I have a feeling that as we add more systems, that's where things get a little bit complicated. But luckily, we're using this entity component system, which helps us manage that. So it only gets as complicated as we let it. And we can remove complication where we want and add it where we want. So... Yeah, looking forward to the next few steps in this. Yeah, there's a short update. I mean, most of what I've done has been done in previous weeks and I've just basically re-implemented it for the sake of this, uh, following this tutorial and this vlog. Check it out, the repo's there below. If anyone has any suggestions as well of, of things they might like to see or being added to this, just feel free. All right, subscribe, like, comment, all of that stuff. <laughs> all right, bye.